feel like such a dumbass. Oh my god, I filmed this entire like five minute me talking thing and it didn't go through, which <sighs> story of my life. Anyways, let me just check. Okay, it's recording, yes. Uh, anyways, hi guys, I apologize for not having very many videos up of me lately, but that's going to change and I have no excuse. I mean, I kind of do, but it's still putting video up, so I promise that I would. Um, there's a couple things I was going to talk to you guys about. And I had it all in the film, but of course I can't, I, being stupid, I press the button, but because it doesn't register sometimes, like you have to wait till the whole screen, like is loaded, and then you have to press the button, well I forget to wait till it loads sometimes, so it doesn't record it. Anyways, um, so you know how you guys, you guys know that I was the coach for middle school volleyball, okay? Um, I was more of like a, an assistant coach, but anyways, I was a coach of us. Um, and we took those pictures like, I don't know how long ago. Well, hang on, my stage. <laughs> oh. I'm good, okay, I'm good. Um, I got those pictures back today. And I like everyone else's pictures, but mine. Like, look at, wait till focus. I don't, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of mine personally. Um, I don't know. It's just like one of those, I think it could look better with me, but whatever. Anyways, everyone else looks good but me. <laughs> so, what I was going to tell you guys is that I forgot to tell you in yesterday's video that I went out to the batting cages with my friend Kevin yesterday. And I haven't been to the cages for a while, first of all. I haven't been to them for a while. And there's always one thing that I keep forgetting to do every single time that I go to the batting cages. Guess what that one thing is? Go ahead, guess. I'll give you a second. You, you done guessing? I keep forgetting to stretch. <laughs> so as I'm hitting, it's just like... I, I, didn't th I thought I did pretty good. My first one was... I, I hit a few, let's just say that. I hit them at least. And then my friend Kevin wanted to try the baseball slow pitch because he obviously didn't, doesn't really play. And mine was on softball fast pitch, first of all. I forgot to film it because there was a lot of people there, so I didn't really want to film them. And Kevin didn't want to film me, so whatever. Um, yes, woof, woof, woof to you too. But um, it, was, it was kind of funny. Uh, he was doing all right, I guess. And my first one was, it was, I was hitting the balls. Then we went to, um, he wanted to do even slower baseball or whatever. And then I went to like medium softball and I could not do it at all. It was hilarious. Then I went to the fast pitch for baseball side. And that wasn't too bad. Um... The machine is not the best in that one. Like, there's three different cages. You can, they have, like, two settings for each cage. But anyways, for that cage, the machines are really bad. And you can't tell when the ball is coming out. So you can just see it at the last, like, second before it comes out. And you just, you just don't have time for it. Um, it's, like, I don't know how to... If you guys baseball players know, you know if you don't have a shitty machine. It's nothing close to a pitcher. Because you can see the pitch when it's coming. But if you have a shitty machine... It's not going to show you shit. So, it was like when I was, I don't know where the ball is coming from. Anyways, and then my last one, I thought I did pretty good. But I had this one because I was practicing bunting. And yes, it's called bunting in baseball. And I must have, I had this like stinging one. Baseball players, you know that you'll have a stinging hit. I had a stinging hit. And I was bunting, so it hurt. And to this day, like right now, to this day, it's only been a day. Um, I can't really write and like lay a pencil on it because it hurts so bad. Uh, it's also inflamed too compared to my other one. It's hilarious. Uh, so that one really did a number on my thumb. And then I was like, I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, because like you know you get sore when you don't sleep wrong. And then halfway through the day, I was like, oh, why does my shoulder hurt? And I was like, what did I do? Oh. <laughs> That's why. Oops. 
and I totally forgot to stretch. I even stretched out, and I was just, it was funny to me. It was pretty funny to me. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to go try to finish some of my homework real quick. So I will see you in just a second. Hey guys, so I know this is kind of last minute, but I am working on my psychology project right now. And, um, I wanted to read you guys some things, but I am going to, you know, it's, it's a little disturbing, but my presentation is on serial killers, so obviously it's going to be a little disturbing. So if you don't want to watch this, or don't want to listen to me, it's kind of, it's really interesting to me, but if you don't want to, you know, just giving you a heads up warning, okay? So, you guys have heard of Ed... I don't know how to say his name. What is that? Yeah, whatever. He looks like that. That he's a serial killer. Obviously from Wisconsin. And before I start, did you guys know that Wisconsin is the highest state for serial killers in the U.S.? And did you know that U.S. is apparently um, the highest country to have serial killers come from? So, yay! USA and Wisconsin! Okay. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit of it, so, here you go. Uh, Weird Old Eddie, as a local community knew him, had begun to develop a nearly unhealthy interest in the, um, inanimate, eh, oh my god, this word, intimate autonomy of the female body, and interests were fed by Michael's medical encyclopedias, blah blah blah, who cares. Um, I'm gonna skip this part, skip this part. Okay, as soon as he graduated onto the real thing by digging up decaying female corpses by night in, the, in Wisconsin cemeteries. Then he would dissect and keep some parts of heads, sex organs, livers, hearts, and intestines. Then he would flay the skin from the body, draping it over the tailor's dummy or even wearing it as himself to dance around in a cav cavort, I don't know what the hell that is, around the homestead. Uh, apparently that gave him intense gratification. On other occasions, he would took only the body parts that particularly interest him. He was especially fascinated by the extensive female genitalia, which he would fondle and play with, sometimes stuffing them into a pair of women's panties, which he would then wear around the house. Not surprisingly, he became quickly a result in this community to scaring any visitors coming near his own neglected and decaying farm. Um, his fascination with the female body legend led him to seek out further Fresh, further and fresher examples. His victims, usually women of his mother's age, include a 54-year-old, some other person, who disappeared, who really cares. I'm skipping that part. Um, I'm going to blow that one out. Okay, anyways. Um, the, the, basically, the woman that was captured. The gruesome evidence pr proved that whatever his name is, Bizarre obsession has finally exploded into murder, and much worse. In the woodshed of the fire, there was a naked, headless body of that one chick hanging upside down from a meat hook and slid open down the front. Her head and intestines were discovered in a box and her heart on a plate in the darting room. The skins from ten human heads were found preserved, another skin taken from the upper torso of a woman that was rolled up on the floor. There was a belt fashioned from carved off nipples a chair upholstered in human skin, the crown of a skull used as a soup bowl, lampshade covered in flesh pulled taut, ta whatever, a table propped up by human shin bones, and a refrigerator full of human organs. The four posts on his bed were topped with skulls and human heads that hung along the wall side, alongside nine death masks. Basically, the, the mask of the, the faces of the woman were posted by the wall. In a shoebox full of f female genitalia, faces stuffed with newspaper, and mounted like hu hunting trophies on the wall. Uh, later, he confessed that he enjoyed dressing himself in this and other human skin garments, and pretended that he was his own mother. Yeah, so that's kind of funny. Um, it was really interesting. And also, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was actually based upon this guy from Wisconsin. Grew up in Wisconsin, everything happened in Wisconsin, so it's just one of those, like, we've had a lot of serial killers come from Wisconsin. Um, actually, I can let you know, no, I don't want to do that right now. 
but um there's a lot of like um Jeff Jeffrey Downer he's one Ed uh, there's a lot of bunch of people that I don't really ever heard of but Jeffrey Downer I'm a thousand percent sure I've not heard of him I know I have and there's actually a movie out called I think it's like Raising Jeffrey Downer or something like that um, we started watching that because we rented it. We started watching it and I never got the chance to finish it. So I really want to go back and get that because it, it was actually a really interesting film to read about. So, yeah. I thought it, you guys would kind of be a little bit interested in that. So I'm going to go and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Which is technically today. But it's really tomorrow. You'll see you later. Bye!